Welcome back to the channel. So I already did one review of the Sakura D5. I was finally able to get a running video. We have COVID shutdowns again, but because I'm in the track owners and I are very good friends, he let me bring my car there to record a, about a two minute video. There was only three of us there that Saturday because uh, we're doing inventory, so I, I help out at the track with inventory, you know, keep the hobby going. So I was able to get a, yeah, it was about a two minute video or a minute 30 video recording. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do another review on it and what, what my setup is now, because obviously it's different from the last time. So the one thing I, I did add, just, or you don't have to, but it's just this little cushion part here for the battery. Right? It's just so it's the battery's going in and scrape your chassis, but you know, it's it's not an upgrade. <laughs> it's just aesthetics. But the major upgrade I did was as you can see from the front, I did the mono shock. Cause I wasn't really liking the, the cantilever system. I don't know what it is about it. It's just uh, I wasn't really feeling it. I felt like I wasn't getting as much of the of the front to go where I wanted to go, I guess. You know, it's, I can't really explain it in the words, but it wasn't really working for me. So I decided to try the monoshock system. And all you gotta do is, all you need is a spacer with a with a ball cup here to change the height, obviously, because it is the ball cup that's, uh, if, I were, if I didn't put a spacer, the ball cup would be too low. And then as you can see, it'll just, it'll be touching the body, right? But right now it's not touching because you need to put a spacer there. So I just grab a spacer and uh, at the front as well so front and rear I don't remember the size of it or the height of it <laughs> but it's uh, pretty much just dry spacers just put them there until you can see that you're not touching the chassis so you can see I can move my shock without rubbing that's what you want if it's touch if it's if your shock is touching the, the body I'm oh, sorry the chassis then it won't you know it won't, it won't compress it won't move like this freely Right, so you just gotta put spacers there enough just to lift it, just to lift it so it doesn't touch, and make sure that you do it the same on both sides so you, you're it's 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 square right or straight. You don't want it to be like in an angle going up this way or an angle going that way. Then you won't be you won't be good. <laughs> so the way like the system works too, as you can see, I got very good front bounce, which gives me just enough traction. Right, that's why that's how I like it. So uh, in the video, you'll see me. It was my first time driving it, so I had to get used to it and just adjust the gyro accordingly. But that's that's my setup there. You don't get any droop though. As you can see, when I lift it, it just goes up. That's the one thing you don't get. But you can see I got some nice bounce. And you can see when I lift this up, this is how the, the system works. See that? So when I, when I turn it to one way, this side will go right when I lean it, the body twist goes this way all right so that's what you want so that's how the mono shock system works and just a little bit of bounce when I'm going straight and I'm gripping that's what you want um, so with doing that I I should just take these off I don't need these here anymore <laughs> and uh, you don't need this anymore either this is not this is just so you guys know this doesn't even hold the the servo down the, the servo gets held down by those screws there front and rear but I forgot to take that off I'm gonna take that off Pretty much after I've done this video, uh, the rear is still the same from last time. All uh, right, same shock, same positioning, same holes, same everything. So there's no change with it. The only major change was at the front, because that's where I was having troubles with understeering and oversteering, and pretty much not having enough grip to get out of situations. Yeah, but that's my setup right now. As you can see, I'm very happy with it I like it I'm trying to make it run and work exactly like my uh, my white A2 but it's uh, you know it's a it's a D5 it's a Sakura I have different chassis and it's uh, it's hard to get chassis to run exactly the same it's it's I don't know what it is I can't get my to do this so you know run the same I have two white A2s and I can't get the other white A2 to run the same as the other white A2 I don't know what it is they're pretty much the same setup, same slide racks, having all my whitey twos and everything. I just, I just can't get it to run exactly the same. It's just a little bit off. Like I can run them fine, they're good, it's perfect, but it's just, I don't know what it is. 
But yeah, so but this guy, I'll just post up the video and you guys can see uh, how it runs. Hopefully this lockdown doesn't last too long and then we can get more guys at the track or have the track open, I should say, and then we can get, yeah, more guys there and then we can drift and I can do it in a in a tandem so we can see how it looks like in a tandem and I'm tandem, uh, tandem with other guys that are driving a, a D5 or a, a YD2. Uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.